Today's five English new vocabulary: commands, commission, direction, display, encourage, escape, especially, fair, intelligent, lead, nation, order, peak, prudent, regulation, subtract, surrounding, RG. Deuteronomy, chapter three, verse twenty-six. But the Lord was angry with me because you, because of you, and he would not listen to me. That's enough. He orders, speak of it no more. You can go to Pisgah, pick and view the land in every direction, but you may not cross to Jordan River. But commission Joshua and encourage him, for he will lead the people across the. Jordan, he will give them the land you now see before you. So we stay in the valley near Beth Poor. Moses urged Israel to obey, and now Israel, listen carefully to this law and regulation that I am about to teach you. Obey them, so that you may live, so you may enter and occupy the land the Lord, the God of your ancestor, is giving you. Do not. Add it to, add it to, or subtract from these commands. I am giving you from the Lord your God. Just as, just to obey them. You saw what the Lord did to you, and by poor, where the Lord your God destroyed everyone who had worshipped the God bear of Peor. But all of you who were faithful to the Lord your God are still alive today. You must obey. This laws and regulation when you arrive in the land you are about to enter and occupy, the Lord my God gave them to me, commanded me to pass them on to you. If you obey them carefully, you will display your wisdom and intelligence to the surrounding nation. When they hear about these laws, they will exclaim, "What other nation is as wise and prudent as this?" But what great nation has so God as near to them as the Lord our God is near to us, wherever we call on Him? And what great nation has law and regulation as fair as this body of law I am giving to you today? But watch out! Be very careful near to forget what you have seen the Lord do for you. Do not let these things escape from your minds as long as you live. And be sure to pass them on to your children and grandchildren. Tell them, especially about the day when you stood before the Lord your God at Mount Sinai, where the, He told me, "Sermon the people before me, I will instruct them. That way, they will learn to fear me as long as they live, and they will be able to teach my law to their children."